So what we're going to do here is create a label and use our Zebra Designer application that is referenced in one of the other videos. We're going to use this to create the label and then save the label off so it can be used um, either to print directly from here just to print some sample labels. Uh, Zebra Designer can be used to create template labels as well. Uh, but just today we're going to create a demo label with a description and price and from there uh, we'll take the show you how to get the template off and then you can leverage another application to send it as an example from the um, from an Android device. So here I'm using a ZQ620 in this example. I have two inch by two inch labels and I have a setting that when I load my paper it will sense it and then it calibrates the media whenever I close the printhead just to be safe. So this is the label example we'll be using for this uh, session. So as I showed before we're using a 620 and we're going to hit create new label. This is my 620 and you can see here from the properties <clears throat> we're going to be printing on the labels and pretty much everything it is a 2x2 two two here you see since it calibrated it read it and put it in and really nothing else here so if, if we say finish here's our label so say example I'm going to take a barcode we'll put a barcode on here we'll take some text we'll put some text on here and we'll start um, designing the label just by double clicking on the box we can put in the word sample product <clears throat> we'll say apply and close um, if it doesn't seem to fit it'll tell you in red um, so it seems to fit there and then in terms of the barcode the numbers fine we can select from a bunch of different barcodes but right now we'll just use uh, this UPCA we can also select what type of dimensions we want we'll say apply and close and so here is our information uh, maybe we just make it a little bit smaller in case on the sides and from there we're gonna go ahead and print so we'll say print and we're going to this general printer if we wanted to change our speed or darkness we could certainly do that we're just gonna do one label and if we say print it will print one label and there's our sample label so we just saw the sample label print but this time we're actually gonna say print to file so from here we'll check the print to file box and we'll just put it in a directory we'll call it sample label okay so from this point we can go to our file directory and we're going to right click it and say edit with notepad and from there we come up and this is the contents of that file that we printed so here's where we really can really make our, ZP, uh, our ZPL all we really need to do is get rid of this first line okay and send from here we're gonna do a file we're gonna save it as a ZPL file sample.zpl we'll say save so if we go back to that directory now we should have our ZPL file and this is the file that you can send from a TC device using the Zebra setup utility application you would load it uh, looking at the other video in the correct directory and then you can connect either through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and print a sample label with this um, with this file as a side note you know you can create lots of information on this file um, if you do calibrate a different type of a label you can always uh, create a different piece for example for example, here's a different type of uh, label. This is our IQ color label. This is a smaller label, uh, but this is in our 630. So let's do a quick label print for this media. Same thing, when I close the lid, it calibrated. So I will create a new label. I'm going to select my printer, which is here, and the label looks about right. Let's just take a peek print on a roll portrait yeah, it's about the right size so we'll say next finish so here's my design okay so 
we're just going to put some things in here and I'll pause and put some things in just so um, it doesn't waste time. So the top of this label is supposed to be the color. So let's just try this real quick. I'm going to put this in. I have the word text. I'm going to say effects. We're going to do inverse. So we'll say apply and close and we're going to print one and see what happens. So change it around. I forgot I was print upside down. So if I print here, then we see uh, the top comes out a little bit purple. If we change this, take it away from where the purple is, and we print, then we're just going to get two black lines and no purple. And that is the purpose of the IQ color, is when this area is dark, then the color will print.